say the weird thing. People are desperately seeking realness. Don't, don't get mad at me. Do not get mad at me. Don't be in the comments. White people are not prejudiced and they're not racist. Well, not, I'm, I'm just gonna say, it's a little bit that are, but majority are not. They really, when it come to us, they just want us to be proper in public and dress accordingly to everyone else. I'm not saying you can't be yourself, but they just want you to act like a normal human being in public and dress like a normal human being. Like just be normal outside. You can act like whoever you wanna act like in your house, but just act accordingly. Act like you got some cooth outside. They not racist, y'all. They not. They just act uncomfortable around people who act funny or dress funny or look funny in public. Like, as long as you act like you got some cooth, like how you act at church, they'll be okay. They're not racist though, not all of them. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother. I swear to God, as the days go by, some people don't need cell phone devices that can record them saying stupidity. I was scrolling through the ethers of Twitter and I came across this. Oh, by the way, let me just uh, clarify something. I ain't calling the app X. I know they show a gang of porno. We're not doing that though. It was Twitter then, it's Twitter now. I don't care about Elon Musk. But yeah, this is why I believe some people shouldn't be have access to cell phones that can record them. This would be saying a whole bunch of nonsense, especially people under the age of 35. Now, you know what? If you're between the ages of 18 and 32, don't talk about serious topics. Don't talk about politics, religion, racism, discrimination. You're inexperienced. You don't read books and you have no idea what you're talking about. This right here, this like this gets exhausting. Not only that, that it's on the internet, like real shit like this, I have to run into in real life. Some dumb bubblehead like her, I'll run to in, in the city of Atlanta, right? Where the population is 55% black and I'm in the uh, hospitality industry. I'll run across the bubble here like this. They think they know it all. They have no back. There's no statistics. They're not even saying this from a place of frame of reference. They're just talking out their ass and they probably stink and the pH balance is knocked off. Ma'am, put your camera phone down. Go read a book. Shut the fuck up. Not only that, I'm tired of black folks defending white people, right? Let them speak for themselves. If they're not racist, they get their ass on the app and make a video saying they're not racist. Stop trying to persuade or sway people into believing that it's a sliver of racist people. If it was a sliver of racist white people, the FBI wouldn't have had a goddamn report in 2000 and what was it, 14? Saying that the FBI had been, or law enforcement was infiltrated by racist, neo-Nazi skinheads and white supremacists. If racism was only a sliver of white people, we wouldn't have niggas having to cut their off because they can't go to work wearing their locks. Hell, there wasn't a lot of racist white people. They wouldn't be passing laws in Texas or Florida where black folks couldn't wear their damn locks to school or they had to be a certain length. If that was the case, we wouldn't have video recorded footage of George Floyd getting a fucking boot on his neck. Never mind if the boot killed him or if he was having a fentanyl overdose. It's irregardless to the fact. What we do know is that he was getting brutalized. If it was only a sliver, we wouldn't even have that. We wouldn't have Air Gardner and an old multitude of black folks that were shot or choked out or killed in some manner without provocation. They wasn't criminals and he didn't have firearms on them or even a knife they getting killed for if it was a sliver of racist white people now i know black on black violence is a thing and i know black people hate kill rob and pillage each other we ain't talking about that we don't pay taxes to pookie and ray ray right or we don't pay pookie and ray ray's salary we pay taxes for law enforcement to at least keep us fuck somewhat safe but not me i don't need that help i do that shit myself so man please stop bootlegging take your ass to school get the fuck tiktok you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't upload videos on TikTok because they gon' they ain't gonna listen to this message. It's too real. And this is informed and educational. This bitch over here just talking out her ass. In any event, if you like this episode, you know what to do. And I'm out. No.